Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So um, continues to move just sideways here. I just want to take a, a look at this fourth wave here, which might be unfolding because uh, again, there isn't much else to talk about. Really, nothing has changed. We do do a bit of a deep dive here into the lower time frame um, because again, nothing else has changed. And just wanted to confirm that against 1717, the focus can be on higher. Um, and just to also confirm that we can still get a fifth wave here in green, which is what we ideally need for trend continuation to the upside, we should hold above sort of 1810. Yeah, because if we drop below 1810, we drop below the 50% Fibonacci retracement, that would make a wave four here very unreliable, then probably something more bearish is going on or something that might make this chart less clear. Thing is, if we break below 1810, um, it will indicate that actually the C wave here is in play, which will send us back into the orange support area. Whereas in my preferred interpretation, also what would be good in terms of a breakout, um, we should do that fifth wave before we come back uh, for a deeper retracement. Um, what would be a target for the fifth wave? Maybe just to add that in case it happens and in case we hold. So basically, as long as we hold 1810, my assumption will be we get the fifth wave that would form again a wave one and we would then come down in a deeper retracement in a wave two that could set us up for a breakout to the upside so it's all a you know it's all um going in cycles here so important would be that if it holds 1810 the fifth wave would reach between um well 1845 is the first target but that would not make a higher high so i don't i will rule that out Ideally, 1864, um, between 1864 and 1896. These are the key FIB levels that um, the wave five should reach. Bitcoin made five waves up. Ethereum didn't. That is in line with my assumption that Bitcoin is outperforming Ethereum at the moment and will do for the next few weeks. That's all based on the ETH BTC chart. We covered that already in other videos. Um, Looking at this subway structure here, diving into the weeds because not too much is going on. I mean, best this probably counts best as an Elliott wave triangle at the moment. Yeah, um, again, this can change because this is the lower time frame, so this can easily change. But for now, I would say we could say this might be an A wave, this a B. No, this is not possible actually as a C. Uh -huh. So I can't actually count it. One second. So I mean. Normally the C wave shouldn't go below A, yeah. But uh, I cannot rule out that on some exchanges it th th that's the problem. You know, I don't want to break any rules here. Um, but uh, maybe uh, let's see on some other exchanges. Okay, that week went below. Let's check Coinbase quickly and then um, now. Nah, okay, I don't. If, if if on several exchanges that low is below the other one, no, we don't want to break any rules. So it can't really be that kind of triangle. It could be something else though. Um, for example, what, what else could it be? It could be that what we're doing here is, let me think. Um, so it could be an A wave, a B, oh no, one second. Wave four could be a W, X, Y, for example. So wave W, X, and then A, B, C, and Y. That's, for example, possible. And then we could just start a fifth wave from here. Again, you can you can try to you know waste a lot of brain cells on what kind of structure it is on a 15 minute time frame in a correction. It often doesn't make sense. What makes sense is to use the FIB levels, the knowledge that you have a wave four, and the knowledge that um, based on that you should you know below which FIB level a wave four gets very unlikely, and that's the 1810 level in, in this case the 50% level. So until we hold that, the idea would be to go higher. I gave you the target. Um, and um, either way, even if we come down from here, this would just be a, a reset of the larger wave two here. Circle wave two would just be reset here. And we could still start a third wave rally um, as long as we're holding 1717. Even if we break below 1717, there is still another higher degree bullish setup which we would then fall back into. So again, what we're doing here at the moment, because not too much is going on on the higher time frames, is to really go into the into the weeds here um, to understand the detail. But in the end, there are a lot of support areas below us still that would protect Ethereum from falling into 
a scenario where it gets really ugly. But for now, the trend is up and the focus is on higher. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.